Hey, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Upcom Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So the details for the upcoming transforming cooler are officially out. And I gotta say guys, this dude is absolutely amazing in like every aspect. He's a dual category leader, one of them is a new category. His passive is incredibly, incredibly strong both pre-transformation and post-transformation. And he also happens to have probably the best animations in the entire game now, so he's just ridiculously awesome. I am so freaking hyped for him now. And uh, you know what, enough talking, let's just jump into it. I'll give you guys the details right now. So uh, this is the stuff that was released on the official Twitter page, but as you guys know, I can't read Japanese, so we're gonna pop over to the Reddit here. And of course, courtesy to the homie Goresh for um, you know, posting on translations, making it so much easier for us to do our jobs. And let's start with the cooler. There's also a new um, Cooler's Armored Squadron, which we'll get to in a second too. But let's start with the main man himself, the transforming Cooler. Cooler, unequaled ultimate power. Leader skill is Conquest of Terror, which is a new category. I don't think we know exactly what units are in it yet, but probably going to be a very... Uh, you know, villain-centric uh, category, and I'm sure it's going to be great. And also, transformation boost. So both these categories, key plus 3, HP plus 130%, and attack and defense plus 170%. Super attack is Death Flasher, uh, causes immense damage, and lowers attack and defense for the enemy. Quote is, everyone shall die. Sounds good. And passive is torture to death. Attack and defense plus 100%, and then... Transformation boost category allies, key plus 2, attack and defense plus 30% if there's one enemy, and conquest of terror category allies, key plus 2, attack and defense plus 50% if there are two or more enemies. So he is not only going to be doing his own damage and tanking pretty decently, he's also going to be an incredible, incredible support unit, guys, for his own categories. And I think there's going to be probably a fair amount of crossover between Transformation Boost units and Conquest of Terror units. So in theory, you could probably build a team where uh, regardless of how many enemies there are, your allies are always going to be getting some kind of boost, which is pretty sweet. So uh, yeah, really, really good passive. That's before he transforms. His links are strongest, in, uh, strongest clan in space, thirst, of con thirst, of thirst for Conquest. Uh, big Bad Bosses, Brutal Beatdown, Metamorphosis, uh, Universe's Most Malevolent, and Fierce Battle. Very standard link set for Cooler right there, really good links, um, especially for villains. And of course, his active skill is a transformation. And the conditions here are... Um, they're okay, they're okay, they're not like... I would say they're somewhere between the Broly movie units, like the AGL Gogeta and the physical Broly, and the... LR Gohan and LR Cell. So not as bad as the LRs, but not as easy to get off for sure as uh, the movie units, right? So basically he can transform either from the third turn if there's a pure Saiyans or hybrid Saiyans category enemy, or if there's no pure Saiyans or hybrid Saiyan enemy, then he can transform after six turns have passed if there's only one enemy. So six turns, I mean... It's a good amount of turns, but it's actually not too bad. Um, I wish there wasn't a restriction for one enemy, so that's like after six turns, and that's it, you can transform. But still, it's not like, like I said, it's not terrible. It's somewhere in between the really bad, really restrictive conditions, and the really easy to get off conditions, okay? So that's the transformation right there. The line is, you should feel honored being able to witness my ultimate transformation. This is the beginning of the end for you. Well, shall we begin? So pretty badass right there. And categories are Conquest of Terror, obviously, Movie Bosses, Transformation Boost, and Wicked Bloodline. Okay, so that is Cooler before he transforms, and then once he does transform, he becomes Final Form Cooler, and his super attack is Death Gliding, raises attack, and causes immense damage, greatly lowers defense, and you might be happy to know for uh, Team 4 Star fans out there <laughs> that this is the planning a dumbass tree animation, so uh, I was pretty excited about that. Passive, conditions of the strongest, key plus 3, attack and defense plus 180%, performs an additional attack which has a medium chance to become a super attack, and performs a critical hit if there's a pure Saiyans or Peter, Peter Bid Saiyans category enemy. Yo, I'm sure Goresh is just too excited, man. Um, slight typo there, hybrid Saiyans obviously, but uh, yeah, that's... That's, that's pretty good. That's pretty freaking good. Links unchanged. Um, I did see some, some calculations uh, on another post on Reddit, and 
uh, this guy's attack stat can get up really, really high when you factor in his uh, additional super and also the fact that he gets a, a guaranteed critical when facing pure sands or hybrid sands, which is not too uncommon in this game. There's going to be a fair amount of enemies that you're facing that are pure sands or hybrid sands, right? Um, so I guess if you think about that, then the condition to transform is actually not too bad. Like I said, it's still not as easy as just having like a straight up turn restriction, like a physical Broly that's only like four turns and he transforms. Um, but still, it's not it's not that bad of a condition. And let's see, uh, links are unchanged, of course. Uh, categories are unchanged. So that is the cooler right there. Like I said, absolutely amazing, amazing. Um, passive for both the pre-transformation and the post-transformation obviously he's more of a support before transformation and then once he transforms he just becomes a offensive monster and also i'm sure he's gonna tank very well too with that 180 percent defense boost and uh yeah he's awesome so that is cooler right there let's talk real quick about the cooler's armored squadron and this is going to be the non dokkan fest card that comes with the banner and its leader skill is Conquest of Terror, category Q plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 120%, super attack is Armored Scramble, causes supreme damage, and lowers uh, enemies' attack and defense, and passive is True Power of the Armored Squadron, attack and defense plus 30% for every Conquest of Terror category ally, so let's say you're running a full Conquest of Terror team, that is going to be 210% to attack and defense. Um, the boost they give these like non dokkan fest units, it's getting pretty crazy too, man. 210% with the full Conquest of Terror team. If there is an ally whose name contains Cooler, excluding Cooler's Armored Squadron, perform two additional attacks, which have a low chance of becoming supers. So in theory, if you get really, really lucky, um, these guys could super like four times with some hidden potential investment, right? So that's pretty wild too. I mean, you gotta get pretty lucky for those two additionals to be supers, but it's possible. They could, in theory, super up to four times, 210% attack and defense for a full Conquest of Terror team. Amazing, amazing. Links, Cooler's Armor Squadron, Cooler's Underling, uh, Loyalty, Cold Judgment, Shocking Speed, Brainiacs, and Fierce Battle. Categories are Conquest of Terror and Joint Forces. And we also know that there's gonna be a new farmable tech cooler from the revamped story event. And the passive for the new cooler is going to be attack and defense plus 40%, conquest of terror category allies, Q plus 2, and attack and defense plus 30%. So an excellent support unit for this category on top of the new Dokkan Fest cooler just being an incredible support unit for the category anyways. Um, I'm excited guys. I'm excited for this entire celebration. But before we go, we definitely, definitely have to check out these animations because like I said, man, they're they're some of the best in the game. Um, I wasn't like super hyped for this guy before I saw these, but once I saw these, I was like, yo, I gotta have him. I gotta, gotta have him. Okay, here we go. So we're on Twitter. I'm gonna turn on the music real quick and uh, let's check these out together, guys. Here we go. Okay, just gonna make it full screen here. Wires all tangled up. Okay, let's go. God, guys, they're so clean. Yo, Namek Goku better watch out, because before this, I was like, sure that Namek Goku, the transforming Goku, had the best animations, but now I'm not even like, I'm not even 100% sure, because that was beautiful. That was absolutely glorious. Yo, I saw a guy on Twitter, um, I think it was on Twitter, who was saying like, oh, I think maybe I was on Reddit. I forgot the person, but 
they were like, yo, at this point, the animations are getting so good um, that we're not even really summoning for units. We're just paying for like the remastered uh, HD Blu-ray version of the anime. And that's kind of true, man. That's kind of true. Like these animations look cleaner than the actual anime was back in the day, right? I mean, that makes sense because it's been so, so long, but still, um, they just look so good. They look so, so freaking good. And, yo, can't wait, I can't wait. I mean, it, it's not even just the animations though. It's not just the animation. It's the fact that he's such a freaking good card. And uh, he brings a new category. And even the Armored Squadron animation is clean as hell too, man. So, yo, I love this transformation. I love this transformation. I don't know if I like this transformation more or the Namek Goku's. I think I still give the edge to Namek Goku just because it's so iconic, right? When he turns Super Saiyan for the first time. But uh, this one's close. This one's definitely close. It's so clean. And <laughs> I mean, the transformed super, oh, dude, it's perfect. It's a perfect, perfect card, man. So um, that's, I guess that's, that's the entire video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you are excited for the cooler, of course, coming out in a couple days on JP and then eventually on global as well. Um, but I'm probably gonna go for him on JP. I, I don't I don't play JP as much as Global as you guys know, but um, I still do play it every once in a while and I think I have to have this guy right now, man. I can't wait. I can't wait for him to drop on Global. I gotta gotta try to go for him first on JP and uh, hopefully I get lucky. A couple multis, we'll see. Uh, stay tuned for a potential summoning video for that. And for anybody on the JP side, good luck if you're summoning. I hope you guys get him. He's He's a good one, man. He's a really, really freaking good one. Uh, Bandai, someone at Bandai clearly loves Cooler. Um, they're clearly big Cooler fans because they give this guy a lot of respect, man, from both the animation perspective and also just the card design, like detail, like passive leader skill, all that stuff perspective. So uh, he's awesome. Can't wait for him. That's going to do it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you liked the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button. To join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too. Let's play this one more time. Uh, let's go. Okay. Hit that notification bell too. So that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it, guys. I'm out of here. Until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.